Let's take a journey back to 2003, a year when Canadian teen sensation Avril Lavigne was topping the charts and turning the music industry upside down. Making her first ever television performance, coming to you live from MTV Shore Thing. It's called Complicated. It's five years. Avril Lavigne. But what if I told you that the Avril Lavigne we know and love might not be the same Avril? Oh, apparently she died in 2003 and they cloned her. She died years and years ago and replaced her just after the second album, I think it was. What? Well, the internet is buzzing like an old fridge with wild rumours from body doubles to questions about her very existence. Avril Lavigne is dead. Yes. And has been dead Long since time. 2003. That Avril died and was replaced by an Avril lookalike. The current Avril, mm -hmm. the current one you're seeing is allegedly a clone named Melissa. I know what you're thinking. Impossible, right? Well, not so fast. I think this story could be true. I want this story to be true. The name Melissa is written on her hand. This is a cry for help. If that was her, why would she do that? So who am I? Well, my name is Joanne McNally. I'm a comedian. I tell jokes of an evening. It also means I have a lot of errors to kill during the day, time to consume and dissect several conspiracy theories, and I have a new personal favourite. Has Avril Lavigne died and be replaced by a goddamn lookalike? It seems crazy to me that someone from this small town can, like, do something like that, you know? Is this, you're not, are you Avril's father? Like, is she definitely, this isn't her family home. Joe Lysus. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to my show. I think Tom literally knows the guy who killed her, doesn't he? I just want, I literally just want to know if she's alive. This is a welfare check. Tell her it's a welfare check. Wouldn't happen to Louis Theroux. Tell them I'm Louis Theroux. Who replaced Avril Lavigne? Listen on BBC Sounds, CBC Listen, or wherever you get your podcasts.